Welcome to Motor Vault Vehicles for Enthusiasts. I'm Josh and we have a 1973 Ford Bronco. While it may have an original 1973 body, this one has been slightly modified. In today's world of all of these different 4x4s and SUVs, back in the late 60s and 1970s when the Ford Bronco was a relatively newer thing, it was not as big of a deal to have a 4x4. These really helped set the tone, and this one is far from being what it left the factory as in 1973. One of my favorite parts with this Bronco is just this sinister look, the black trim with that silver paint. It's got a very, very aggressive, but not over the top look, and that's really what I like. Obviously, we got the bar here on the front. We got the beautiful black grill with the Ford logo that's been modernized. We got these LEDs with the halos around them. And at night, which you'll see more of that, looks absolutely sinister. Those halos coming at you underneath the tunnel or at night, man, does it look good. Got the LED bar on the front. It's a nice, tucked away, refined, but very, very aggressive looking front end to a custom Bronco. In today's specialty car world, there's a huge debate of to keep original, modify, how to modify. In this Bronco is the case of how to modify and how to do it well. This one was restored and resto modded by the Car Vault. What does resto mod mean? It means restoring but modifying. This one has a lot of brand new top of the line and custom parts, but it still has that original 1970s Ford Bronco style body. As you could go along the side of the Bronco, you can see the wheels and tires are upgraded. You can see the doors, the interior. There are a lot of things that are not stock on this one, and we're gonna take a better look and see how in depth the modifications go with this 4x4 Legend. One of the first things when modifying a 4x4 vintage or modern will be the wheels, tires, shocks, struts, sway bars, all of that goodness. So we've got these big old BF Goodrich mud terrain TAs with the dirty life Iron Man wheels. They look absolutely sinister in that nice matte black matching the matte black trim throughout the rest of the Bronco. Behind this, we've got the Bil Bilstein B6 shocks and struts. Almost every other suspension piece was James Duff built. Uh, sway bars are aftermarket as well. There's a lot of goodness going on underneath this bad Bronco. Under the hood, we have one of Ford's greats, the five liter Coyote. This one is the Gen 3 Coyote, right around that 460 horsepower mark, about 420 foot-pounds of torque. That's what they came from, from Ford. It's got the 6R80 six-speed transmission, and this engine is plenty of power for these Broncos, as the original ones either came with a six-cylinder or the small block 289 and then 302 V8, which had a more than 100 horsepower difference. The most of those were under 300 horsepower. This is over 460. Plenty of power to get the Bronco down the road with reliable modern fuel injection. One key component of a high level build on top of obviously paint, the interior, the wheels, what drivetrain you choose is the fit and finish. And you will see that under the hood of a lot of these high level builds. You got the nice flush panel here in the front that covers the radiator and fans. You got all of the bed liner on the sides. And it's just nice and tucked away, showcasing that beautiful, monstrous five liter V8 that powers this pony. One fun bit about Broncos 
and a couple different four by fours is having these bar doors on the side, giving you a lot more of an outdoors, raw, natural feel. And these look absolutely brilliant, especially with the mesh holes on the side. Really gives it a nice smooth look, a nice all the little round bits through here. And you're like, hey, wait, how do you actually open this door? You go inside, you pop this, and the running boards come out with the door to give you a nice boom bang. You're in, you're ready to rock and roll approach motoring at its finest. When you're inside this Bronco, there is a lot to like. It is very simple, but my goodness, it is clean. The design of the customization of this interior is top shelf. Definitely you feel like you're in a show car, but it's also very usable as that's what these Broncos were intended for. Off-roading, rocking and rolling, and I like a lot what goes on here. So for one, we've just got your good old-fashioned ignition with the push button start. You got your auto meter gauges, which look very, very pretty. You got your pull-down classic gear selector. And you've got your options for your front and rear diffs. It's very simple, but it is very, very well designed. And I want to spend a lot of time in this Bronco. Let's go. Continuing with the interior, these Tom's Broncos custom seats are a really nice touch. Got your gray inserts with the silver dots actually kind of going with almost like they pulled the holes out of here and put them in the seat, which is really cool. Leather on the outside of it looks great. Got an icon center console. You've got the, uh, the entire inside of this actually lights up, which you won't see really well now, but when this car is at night, you see the entire inside of this thing light up, which is a really, really cool touch. Got the Kenwood speakers and you're going through the back. And that same design carries on into these back seats with the bed liner all the way throughout the inside. It's a nice, nice clean finish. Very, very rugged, but very, very classy. And uh, you got your extra safety bit, even has seat belts. Throughout the inside of the Bronco, more so the top of it, we've got the nice sturdy roll bar with the seat belt's connected all the way to it. It's been bed linered just like the rest of the cohesive interior flooring and actually the engine bay. And speak about the back of this, got your nice classic 1970s traditional Ford style rear. You drop it down, it's a party in the back. Bed liner continues. You have a nice little hidden compartment here. What do we have in here? Oh yeah, it's Yeti cooler time, baby. It is a full on party. Put whatever you like in there, Cokes, beer, whatever it may be, this Bronco is ready to party all day long. This Bronco has the look, and I think it's all topped off with this beautiful shade of silver, which is the baseline of the color that we all know very well. This color started with Red Bull Silver, and had a custom blend added to it to make this gorgeous, gorgeous shade, all the black accents. And in today's world where black, silver, and white are so common, it's really hard to make it unique and really hard to make it look good. And I think this Bronco absolutely nailed it on the head. I have yet to drive a unmodified early 70s Bronco, but I think this might be just a little bit better. You've got comfy modern seats. You've got fuel injection. You've got a 6R80. You've got auto meter gauges. You've got all the modernization you need from maybe, I don't know what you could say, a little mix of a backdraft, a little mix of a Raptor, whatever you want to say. It's fun. So again, one nice thing.
about that engine is that it really, really gets up and goes. And I wasn't even really on it. That's the thing is that these just carry so well. They suit these chassis, which is a factory Bronco chassis. It's not a modern chassis, which is really cool touch. Same with the body on this. It is a correct 73 Bronco body. It's not modern fiberglass or any of that. It is true, pure American iron. The open air, open top experience is quite unique for these Broncos. And it feels quite lovely on a nice 82, 83 degree summer day. You're not baking, you're feeling good, especially with a nice little breeze. But in case it is too hot and you still want to enjoy this experience, we do have a little bit of vintage AC, a nice touch that uh, I don't think you're gonna get the same experience in a bone stalker, that is for sure. It's very healthy, very lovely. Being in this cab is a very just, very cozy place to be, very enjoyable. You look out in front of you and you see the leather to part of the top of the dash. You see all the really nice fit and finish. And you know you're in something that someone has spent a lot of time getting right. And the car vault in Brownsburg, Indiana, who built this, absolutely nailed this one without question. That's pretty quick. <laughs> the heart of a Mustang GT and some from the 1970s. That is cool. Now the only other bit is you can take this puppy off road. And that really is where this thing comes to life. This Bronco has so much going for it, and there is so much unique and customized on this Bronco. I couldn't really tell you about all the things done to it. So that's why you need to go to motorvault.com, check out all of what's been completed on this Bronco, check out our Instagram, our YouTube, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and check out more content in cars like this upcoming to Motor Vault. We'll see you soon.